Okay, so I'm going to attempt to uh, teach people how to deal with animating something in 3D. And the thing is that a lot of my other, well, my other, my previous videos on animation have always been done from a side view. And so now what happens when you want to draw something in perspective in three dimensions? So rather than from an orthographic, um, one thing I do is I try to treat the canvas as a three-dimensional workspace. So I draw these three lines here to help you get the feeling that you're actually looking, right? There's a sidewall here. If I want, I can carve a door into that space. Right? So it's a three-dimensional workspace that you have to deal with. And so anytime you're drawing something, if you want to draw in perspective, you have to simply see in perspective. Um, except right now the camera is off angle. So if I want, I could take this camera and just, you know, shove it over here and then turn it up here. And now of course the projection no longer works, right? That line would not be up there. I would have to redraw this, you know, from a, like, like this. All right. So now that is what we'll see. Okay, so you treat it like a three-dimensional space, and I can continue to push. Pushing inside, right? So it's like a, it's like the Hall of Mirrors effect, and I, if I want to keep on extending this, in fact, if I keep extending these, these will eventually reach, you know, a vanishing point. That's the whole purpose of it, right? If I want, I can divide up these side lines, these side walls. So you'll notice that I find out the start and the end of that line, and I... Right, so the thing is you can't draw in 3D if you don't see the page as being a 3D workspace, right? So, I mean, if I were to say fire up um, just something like SketchUp, right? SketchUp is a 3D program. You have yourself a three-dimensional workspace and, right, it's a viewport. It's three-dimensional. It's three-dimensional objects, right? When you work in a 3D program, you see this flat screen as a viewport. And so when you're working in 2D, right, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, except that you have to do it yourself. Um, all right. So anyway, I'm going to just leave the camera right here because this is probably closer to what you're used to seeing rather than at the weird angle. Um, so it is slightly over top of my head right now. And let me lock the transparency for that. All right. So let's just make some objects move through three-dimensional space, right? So I can take a ball and, you know, I'm going to just, where do I want it to go? I'm, I'm going to just make it come closer, right? So I, I need this ball, right? Shove it right up close. Right? You can get that feeling where something is coming at you. Um, right? Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to, Let's try and get it to orbit, right? I'm going to get it to, to move in kind of a, 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 in a, in a, in a circular path. So let's see, uh, there, there. Okay. So here to here to here. Okay. So the in-between here would probably be about, okay. Now, can you feel how that is getting too small, too fast, but I drew it very lightly, right? The thing is that you draw it lightly first. It's going to be wrong. You're going to look at that and you're going to say, hey, that doesn't feel right. That should be, you know, much larger over here. Right? Now we've got it. Now it's working, kind of. I should probably shove it over even further, you know. So I'm going to undo that and just, you know, shove it over further. Don't worry about that sidewall, right? The thing about, ah, uh, okay, that, don't worry about that sidewall because that's not the circular path I want it to move in. Right? The sidewall means nothing to me. The sidewall is just there as a guideline. Okay, now I throw in another frame. So I'm going to make it... I'm going to draw what I think is there. Do it lightly. You're not sure where it is, so don't put hard lines on there. It feels like it's actually too high up. Let's move it down a bit. Okay, it still feels like it's too high up, so I'm going to undo that. How far down? The sketching, and I should probably shove it over to the side, right? This is a skill. 
being able to not push too hard, right? Being able to approximate, to suggest to yourself where it should go and to make an adjustment. You're going to steer it. You're going to tune it until it's just right. And when it's really where you want it to, then you just start to apply a little bit more pressure. This is not illustration. We don't care about how clean the lines are. You have to be disposable. You have to make it so that the line work itself is disposable. Okay. Now, because there's so few in-betweens, it looks like it's moving in a diamond pattern. And I actually feel that this thing here could probably come a little closer to us. Right? So, you know, be prepared that things will actually move off the canvas. Right? And it feels like it's dipping down. So I got to undo that and move it up. So just make it larger, right? Okay, good. Now I can throw in an in-between. So from here to here. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to just put a straight in-between in the middle, all right? I have to bump it out a bit more because right now what we've got is this diamond pattern, right? It's moving like that. I need to move things out here so that, you know, the, the final path is more round, right? So your in-betweening is going to affect that path. I'm going to approximate. I, I feel like it should be there. Right? And if it feels like it's a little off, then, then change it. But, all right, now throw in another in between. It feels like it's too high, doesn't it? All right? So, again, you, you got to draw lightly. Suggest to yourself. Don't tell yourself things. Suggest to yourself. Right. And, and, you know, if it starts to get a little mess messy, just clear the frame, you know, start over. Um, you know, don't be precious with your drawings. If you're precious with your drawings. Then, you know, you don't want to erase them. You don't want to make room for what's right. In fact, I almost want to throw in one more in between here just to, to help ease that jump. Yeah. Doesn't that feel better? Right now, you feel carving through space. Push it through. Push it away. Carve through space. Right. Control it. Take control of the perspective. Now it's jumping. All right there, we go. Feel it. Feel it carve through space. Feel it come towards you. Animation is going to be the best thing to train. Your, your sense of perspective. In fact, now I feel like it's kind of coming to a stop here. I, it's like I want this thing to get even larger. You know, I'm really accentuating that whoosh, right? There's a little bit of synesthesia going on. That This is when, when something like, say, visual, things that you see, things that you sense with one sense, begin to affect your other senses, right? It's like sometimes when you see or you hear something, in, you know, it's almost like when you see something, you might hear something. When you hear something, you might taste something. You might smell something, right? That's synesthesia. It's, the, it's whenever the stimuli from one sense makes you sense another sense, you know, makes you sense stimuli on another sense. Right, so as I see this moving around, I actually feel this whoosh, right? It's like I start to make sound effects with my mouth. That's synesthesia. Some people have it. Not everyone does. Some people it really affects, like, to a huge degree, and they just kind of... It's almost like a seizure, right? Feel that. Feel that thing just whoosh. Coming right at you, right? So that's whoosh, 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 right? So this is probably one of, I don't know. If you've been having problems with perspective, this is probably going to be the most relevant thing to you, the most important thing to you that you need to practice, not just in this direction, but, you know, other push it away, push it, to pull it towards you, change your point of view, you know, like shove this camera around, you know, shove it somewhere else to a different angle and then practice with that. Okay.